Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 14th of 2024 is titled the 37 cluster. So what do we see here? Now well, here we see a bunch of stars in the sky and part of the star cluster known as NGC 2169. And if you look at them, you might be able to make out a pattern in the middle of a 37 in the sky there. So why the number 37? Well, really, it's just, of course, random positioning of the stars. And of course, our minds want to put some kind of pattern there. So when they're close to a similar pattern to something we'd be used to seeing, such as a couple of numbers here, you may convince yourself that there's a number 37 in the sky. And of course, many would say it shouldn't be 37. Why don't they form 42? Which, of course, is the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So might have been more appropriate if they happened to form a pattern of that instead, but instead we get a 37, just a little bit less than that 42. Now, this is what we call an open cluster of stars. It's a relatively young cluster, so... In this case, only about 11 million years old. Now that's very young when you consider our sun being about four and a half billion years old. So these are very young stars and tend to be much hotter than our own sun. And in fact, if you waited four and a half billion years, none of these stars would still be around. So this 37 will have disappeared by then and in fact long before then, because many of these stars don't live for a long period of time. We just happen to see them now because it's a young cluster and they've recently formed. Now open clusters are so named because they are not gravitationally bound together. And that means over time not only will some of these stars die, but some of the stars will also slowly wander away from each other as stars interact gravitationally, they will slowly disperse out into space. And in fact, many billions of years ago, our sun may have been part of a cluster like this, and then has since wandered away over time over those billions of years, with the remnants of that being very difficult then to find. But it is how many of the stars form within the disk of our galaxy, and of course, in other galaxies as well. Many stars will form in these small clusters and then slowly the stars will disperse out into the rest of the galaxy. Now there are other types of clusters we call globular clusters which are more massive and have enough mass to hold themselves together to keep the stars from escaping. So that differentiates the opens cluster that we see here from a globular cluster, which are much older clusters of stars and remain around for a much longer time. So that was our picture of the day for May 14th of 2024. It was titled the 37 cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be green space arch. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.